In this video, we're going to discuss the various vaporizers that are available through Vetland Medical to mount on our anesthesia machines. Here we have the Ohio vaporizer, the Tech 4, Tech 3, and the D19. The Ohio vaporizer is one of the uh, older designs. It uses a bellows thermostat and paper wick material. It is required to be sent back in every three years and have it adjusted and recalibrated. The Tech 3 and the Tech 4 internally are basically the same components. Uh, the Tech 4 is more of a square uh, shape and holds more volume of drug and it mounts uh, differently. But internally these are both the same bimetallic strip thermostats and a cotton wick fiber. Uh, these also need to be sent in uh, every three years to be recalibrated and rebuilt. Uh, the D19 uses a uh, felt type wick material and there is no small strips or bellows. It's two huge pieces of uh, metal that expand and contract at different rates based on temperature. So therefore this vaporizer is calibrated for life and it has a 10 year warranty. This is our featured vaporizer for obvious reasons. However, our machines can accept any of these. They come available in isofluorane or sevoflurane key fill or funnel fill. Every vaporizer has to have an interface between the vaporizer and the anesthesia machine. On the Tech 3 vaporizer, that manifold or interface is actually built in. It's part of the vaporizer. So if you purchase this vaporizer, it's not necessary to purchase an additional manifold. It's part of the vaporizer. It's a 23 millimeter tapered slip fit. Uh, the end caps just go on like this or slip fittings your anesthetic gas comes up the hose through the inlet, through the manifold, and then out to the patient. Uh, it's easy for disconnecting for non-rebreathing circuits and things like that. It's very popular. The Drager vaporizer, we can also have the same style manifold for it. It's a 23 millimeter slip fit that bolts on the back of the Drager vaporizer. So that's one option. It also comes with a 15 millimeter slip fit manifold with a barb for the inlet and outlet of the vaporizer and also available is a inlet and outlet barb for those applications where you do not disconnect for non-rebreathing and you want to eliminate any potential leak sites. So those three options are available for the Drager vaporizer. On the Tech 4 vaporizer <clears throat> because it's a latching vaporizer uh, made to be interchanged, taken off easily and, and uh, changed from one drug to, the, to another for instance. You have a block like this with two posts that the vaporizer sits on and then it can either be bolted in place or it can be latched in place. And this is the Tech 4 manifold. For the Ohio vaporizer we have the same 23 millimeters type uh, tapered fit manifold for the Ohio vaporizer like so. So if you purchase an Ohio vaporizer, you'll need the 23 millimeter manifold. If you purchase a Tech 4 vaporizer, you'll need the Tech 4 manifold. And on the Drager vaporizer, you have three options based on what applications you're trying to solve. And on the Tech 3 vaporizer, it already has the manifold built in. 